Et c'est chez moi, c'est l'arme de crocodile. I just wanted to show you our room because we got in last night and it was a little bit dark. Um, so I'm going to show you our beautiful hotel room we're staying in. The 8th arrondissement. Arrondissement. Yeah, oui. so we're staying in the 8th. And I will just show you everything. There's like a gym, there's a sauna downstairs. We just had breakfast. It's honestly a pretty great hotel. What else? I have a pimple right now. I'm very sad about it, but such is life. Okay, let's show you the room. So this is our little bathroom. It's got a cute ladder. Towel rack, a beautiful shower. Good pull. <laughs> then you walk in, and we've got this bed. Very nice bed, as you can see. Some artwork on the wall. A little faux swing nightstand here. Very cute. This is kind of like the living area. Living. And then this is kind of a cute little area. We've got like a cupboard with a safe. There's a fridge in there where I kept my turmeric shot yesterday. Coat hanger. Nespresso, hashtag sponsored. A couch, and then this is my favorite part, the big windows. So we've got one here on the left, and then one on the right. And it opens up all the way, which is so nice because you get fresh air and this view. And this view. We stay here for the night and then we're actually going to an Airbnb because we really like staying in a bunch of different areas to kind of explore the city that we're in. And also I found a really cute Airbnb so I couldn't decide between both. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. We're at Wild in the Moon. Pretty excited because this is the most recommended one from you guys and I feel like you know me so well because it's very me. Just looking at the restaurant and I also looked at the menu so I'm pretty excited. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna get. I'm so pumped. Taking a little, ooh, it's bright, in our favorite little chapeau with good company. I kind of love this because I never just sit in New York. You know what I mean? It's nice. And we got so lucky with beautiful weather. Okay, next up is dessert. We are going to Cloud Cake, which has also been highly recommended, and I'm super excited. The only thing is, I don't know if they have a ton of gluten-free options. I just think it's vegan only, but. I am actually gonna be eating gluten, I think, while I'm here. I mean, I don't have celiac disease, so it's not as bad. I just get a lot of discomfort, and it's an intolerance. I was gonna save up until the last day and eat a croissant before we left, but it doesn't really make much sense because I'll still be in Amsterdam anyway with you for a couple days, so it's not like I can just go home. Um, but I'm just gonna do it because, you know, I'm not here that often. And sadly, a gluten-free and vegan croissant just doesn't exist yet, unless I don't know about it, otherwise let me know. But <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit of gluten, and yeah, if you're wondering why. But just know that I usually don't, I just know that I am lucky to only have a gluten intolerance, so I'm not gonna die if I eat it, and so. Vegan croissants. Yeah, it was all right. We had better. It sounds so critical. <laughs> but I mean like the Impossible Burger and stuff were better. Oh yeah, for sure. But it was good. Um, not like the best thing I've ever had, but I, I was kind of surprised because so many people were like freaking out about how good it was and I don't know. It was just kind of like, it was I mean, good. Maybe, maybe it was solid. First. So anyway, that's pretty much everything we're going to eat today and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I guess.
we switched to an Airbnb and we're in a different Avantismo and we just like to kind of explore different areas. Hi. <laughs> areas. And today is Valentine's Day. Um, so we don't have anything in particular planned because we're kind of just like, how else do you describe it? We're just low key. It's nice that we're together on Valentine's Day. I don't think we've been together for like the last six years of Valentine's Day. And I think we're gonna spend some more time on this side of Paris that we're in now, which is kind of like the 11th and third arrondissement. So yeah, that's kind of it for today. Um, let's go, let's right. get clothes on. got a crown chocolate and a regular croissant. Here's the chocolate croissant and then the regular croissant here. And I have a feeling these will be much better than the one that I had earlier in the week just because I think the other one I had was like whole wheat which it just tastes different, you know, and it wasn't buttery enough. So I should probably take a picture of these first, huh? I'm being a bad blogger today. Let's try the plain one first. I feel like that makes sense. Ooh, the crunchy. <laughs> Very flaky. It's <laughs> more vegan croissant. <laughs> Looks like a croissant. Let's see. Hmm, that's really good. Definitely way better than the first one I had. Anyway. That was good. Mm -hmm. All in all, very good. Very impressed. Love croissants. So happy. I hope it doesn't give me a tummy ache, but no regrets. Mo was not feeling well, and I am getting a little fooded out from eating out so much. I've been just eating like a lot of sugar. I'm just going to be cooking, and that's kind of going to be the end of our day. He's unwell. But that's going to be it. Super simple cooking and that's one of the benefits of being in an Airbnb also, especially if you're vegan or just a health conscious person who gets fooded out easily by eating out too much. So when I was at the store and I saw tempeh fumé, all I could think of was like a block of tempeh with a cigarette. <laughs> But yeah, it smells really good, it smells smoky. It's kind of got that like meaty bacon-ish flavor, which I normally don't like. I never liked bacon before I was vegan, but um, it saves me the effort of having to season this, so win-win. in Paris we didn't really do anything today um, because we're heading out and checking out it's like 11 a.m. now so we just had basically the morning and we kind of just packed um, we are heading to Amsterdam so it will be the end of our Paris vlog I will leave a link to all of the information of every place that we visited and everything that I ate in the description box below so you can check that out it'll be like a little travel guide and if you enjoyed please subscribe and hit the little bell button so you'll know when the next video comes out I'll see you in another video soon bye